Here, where do you want to vent? No. Let's, you want, let's vent here. Yeah. Just to have fun. Let's have fun. You want to have fun? Let's make a big fire. Let's make a big fire. Let's make a big fire. What would you really want? Guys, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Come through, come through. Ventilation can be our friend right. or it can be our enemy. Did we make it our enemy there? Yeah. Yeah, we made it our enemy there. But it's going to be our friend here. Come Let's come back over on this side. Come back over here. Let's cover one more time the importance of what? Killing the heat. The importance of stop. Take a look. Currents. Yeah, velocity of the smoke. Stop. Take a look. What are we going to do? We're going to get on scene here. The front door. Everything's closed up. Let's, let's run this scenario. Everything's closed up here. We get on scene. Mom said they're in there. They're in that room. That window opens up. You go in there, you're doing a search. Engine company opens the front door, okay? And then we're getting some ventilation. We need some ventilation in the garage. And then we're going to vent this window. We come up, and there's extension all the way across, all right? So the importance of killing the heat, reaching the screen. Cannot stress the importance of that enough. All right, so so important that we come in, we stop, we kill the heat before we make our push all the way through. So as we look here, let's take a look. Dramatic amount of heat moving up to the second floor and out the vent hole. Look at the amount of heat in the garage, right? Let's walk around. I'm backwards. I go A D C B. So. Come around this side, see the convection currents coming out. We're gonna have auto exposure through the gables or through the boxing into the roof. All right, we know we can't trust the shiny surface. That's obviously hotter than 100 degrees. Don't trust the spot temperature. Don't trust shiny surfaces, right? Move on around here, look at this. Mm. It's front to back. Mm. It's not just the front. So how much fire extension you got? You got a bigger house, a deeper house? Did it make it all the way back? I don't know. Here I can see how much heat's moved all the way across, up that second floor, and just like we thought. So right now, I want you to focus on this triangle. Talk about this triangle. So that triangle means that this camera's in low sensitivity. I'm gonna bring it down, it comes off. See how defined the trailer is? You can see how defined the trailer is. You can see the wheels, you can see everything on that trailer. I'm gonna bring it up, the camera's gonna change. You see that triangle come on. So that's gonna be important whenever we're looking at this and whenever we're talking about it. That you can focus on we want this to be fire behavior thermal imaging training and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold the two cameras together all right I'm gonna hold the two cameras together and you can be talking about the image that you see between the two cameras I'm gonna bring this down low now all right when we go down low we take the triangle we bring it down to where the triangle goes off so there's no triangle there on the cameras and now I'm gonna come back up Whenever I come back up, we're looking at the refresh rates of the camera. So that's going to be important. That's something I want you to focus on. So I'm going to put the cameras down. The door was closed. We're going to close that door. We're going to open that door. But whenever I open that door, what I'm highlighting here is, you know, they may only have 500 gallons of water on the engine. So we want to highlight the importance of using the camera to size it up. So I'm going to come up. I'm simply going to close the door, take the oxygen away, and then let me open this up and let's take a look through the eyes of the camera 
as far as what we have going. So this will be a good time to highlight the thermal imaging side of it again. So the doors close, remember, they got on scene visually, all they're gonna see is smoke from the ceiling down to the floor. That's all they're gonna see visually, but let's take a look through the eyes of the camera here. All right, let the camera refresh. There's a refresh and they know exactly where to put the moisture. Gotcha. Remember, the K65, the FLIR K65, it has a refresh rate of nine, of, I'm sorry, of 60 hertz. The K2 has a refresh rate of nine hertz. So let's take a look at the difference here. So now the camera refresh, see the difference in the images here? So I'm gonna go down low with both cameras. Both cameras go down low. And I wanna get rid of that triangle. Josh, the triangle's gone on the left, but it, we still have it on the right. It's right. gone on both now. It's gone on both, so now watch. We're gonna bring them back up. Watch the cameras refresh, all right? So the one on the left refreshed, the other one on the right has not refreshed. There it is, it refreshed. So that's something else that I want you to cover as far as refresh rates of the thermal imaging cameras. So, and That's the smoke's traveling, and look at where you're at. Watch when I open the window. I open this window, see everything changes. So we're changing that environment, and there's our ignition. Why? We open the building up. We open different windows, we open different doors. You're able to show this, and it's gonna be up to you. Whatever definitions, whatever highlights you wanna show, it's gonna be up to you. You can throttle it by the garage, you can throttle it by the windows, you can close doors, you can open them doors. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna grab a thermal camera. And Josh, come on over here, buddy. Let me, uh, what I want you to see here is let the camera change gears. So there's the triangle came on. So right now, see how you can see where the fire is, where it started in that garage. So you can see on the camera and this, you know, good thermal imaging training. We want them to do that 360 with the camera to size it up. So just wanted to highlight that. You can see the difference there in this.